So I was running the Dam to Des Moines um, back on August 28th. Um, around mile seven or six or seven or so, um, I went down, um, I collapsed. We're coming up a hill. I just, I remember that hill because I hate that hill. And I come up that hill and just as I'm coming up toward the top of the hill, it's about to crest and, think, and somebody over here stumbles. Except the weird thing was when this one stumbled, they didn't put his arms out. That was a little weird. Um, and then, so I go over just to see how he is. Uh, went into cardiac arrest. Um, and then, so there was actually 18 people that responded between uh, civilians, uh, Des Moines Police Department, the Polk County Sheriff, uh, the Sailorville Township Fire Department and Des Moines Fire um, that came together to uh, save my life. It's crazy to think that there were that many people involved. Uh, in that case, it was, on a corner that just kind of worked out where it was Polk County, Sailor Township's jurisdiction, and then being right on the corner and fell in Des Moines as well. So everybody kind of responded to that area. Yeah, I had a, an emergency room doctor and two emergency room nurses that were running right by me when it all happened. So they were starting, you know, CPR right away and intervening and, you know, making sure that I was receiving the best care. And when you look into cardiac arrest, CD, CPR is the number one defense that you have to save someone's life. So that, you know, quick CPR and their quick thinking is absolutely what, what helped to save my life. Um, you know, you see enough um, cardiac arrest where they don't get any help early and that tends to lower the odds of um, survival. The big key is early, um, early CPR, early defibrillation. Take that first crucial 15 to 30 seconds when the person first goes down, every minute that that person lays there without circulation, they have an added 10% loss of chance of life. It's amazing and I mean I truly believe that God placed each and every one of them in the right place the right time and you know like Brian said like they all had so much experience and knowledge that they were able to bring to save his life and I'm just so grateful. So we're here today recognizing them and finally got the opportunity to meet everyone and say thank you and I mean thank you is not enough but it's just really cool to see everyone and you know let them know that their trainings and actions were appreciated. We always kind of talk at the station that, you know, very seldom do we do we hear the outcomes of, of patients. You know, once we get them to the hospital, you know, sometimes we find out what happens with a patient. Other times, you know, it just kind of goes by the wayside and uh, we don't hear for sure what happens. And uh, to hear how well he did after the fact and to be able to come out and partake in this today is, is a true testament to everybody that was involved in the in the care. You know, I, um, I have a young family. I have a five-year-old son, um, a three-year-old daughter, and then a wife of almost 10 years. And uh, they're the reason I do everything. And I get to see them again and be a dad and be a husband because of their heroic actions, because of what they did. And, um, you know, they, I know they see a lot of bad. Um, you know, they're, they're there for people in their darkest hour, and they're, they were there for me in my darkest hour, and it had a great outcome. And I wanted to make sure that they were able to be recognized for that, because for, that's what they go to school for, that's what they train for, is moments like that. Know that Brian is back with his family and can continue on his life. That makes the whole life of mine worth it, because that's why we do what we do. Just thank you to everyone. I mean, thank you to the first responders, to the city of Des Moines, for everyone for being there. I mean, Iowa has the best of the best from EMTs to ER doctors and everywhere in between. And I'm just so grateful and thankful to live here in Iowa.